What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the In Our House podcast, episode 64. And we got a new setup. Same room, but we got a little table now. Um, this is my editing table. It's like a, a work table. We just literally got it this morning. We drove to Lafayette. Shout out um, Gabby and Chris, if you guys are watching this. Shout out for you guys. Um, we bought it off of them. And we literally went to Lafayette this morning, came back today. And now it's my editing table. But before we get into today into today's episode make sure you go down hit that like button subscribe there you go did you hear that have they have they subscribed yet can you hear um i think they still need to hit the button okay okay i heard it now they subscribe okay but (laughs) make sure you like too (laughs) but yeah so we got an editing table um which is crazy because like I, like, didn't know if he would like it. I saw it, like, go up on a, a friend's story. I'm like, this would be perfect. It's so cute. It goes with, like, our whole aesthetic that we have going on at home, like, farm style, rustic. So, like, that would fit perfectly into our home. But then he, I was like, so I sent it to him. Like, hey, like, go look at someone's story or Gabby's story and see if you like that table. And he's like, can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? I'm like, I'm like, it was so cheap. It was 65 bucks. And yeah. I, I think it's a Target table, but I saw the price and I'm like, dude, because I originally like my go to editing table. Y'all are going to roast me for this, but I want uh, a standing table. <laughs> so like the ones that have a button on the side that go up and down and preferably a wider one just so maybe. Well, I mean, this is a nice uh, width. It's just maybe for like the actual podcast. It might be a little too narrow. Because the new mics that we want to get, we want to set up here. And once they're set up like this, we'll be talking like this. So, well, I don't know. We might end up just holding the mic too. But we'll see. I really like it. I haven't used it for editing yet just because we literally got it this morning. Um, yeah. I kind of wish I would have kept it a secret and like bought it for him as a Christmas gift because I haven't done any really Christmas shopping anyways. But I'm like, dang, this would have been a perfect Christmas gift. But oh, wow. Alas, here we are. Yeah, and comparing a $65 table to the standing one that I want, that's like 250 I saw it, and I'm like, it's a steal. Yep. <laughs> so shout out to you guys for selling it to us. Um, I hope you guys like this new setup. I really do. And sorry if we're munching a lot. We're eating a lot of popcorn because we're kind of hungry. Um, but freaking today is a World Cup final. Holy shit. We're recording this a couple days before, so we don't know who's actually in the final. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's Argentina. If it's Argentina, it's either Argentina and France or Argentina and, oh, I think it's Morocco. Mm. Oh, so it, oh, man. Morocco's been really good. Like, they've done really good so far in the World Cup. I'm so surprised. They took, they took out Spain. Mm-hmm. They took out, did they take out Brazil? I can't remember. I don't remember entirely, but no, they've been doing pretty good. I think it's Croatia. No, Croatia's still in. <laughs> took out Brazil. Oh, Croatia took out Brazil. Ma, yeah, ma, I think ma, that's ma, right. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. But, dude, I'm... Oh, my gosh. I was so stressed in the Argentina and Netherlands game because mm-hmm. Argentina was winning 2-0. I think it was 2-0. 2-0 or 2-1. But the Netherlands scored... I'm like, all right, it's it's two one now. It's fine. Like Argentina's got it, bro. Ninety, like well, a hundred ninetieth minute, but like added ex- with extra time, the ten minutes that they added extra. So like, a hundred and first minute of the game, Netherlands has a free kick. Yep. <laughs> and I was at the edge of my seat. I'm like, okay, this isn't going. And there's no way. And then next thing you know, the guy doesn't kick it. He passes it. To, to the inside of the box and then the guy that receives it from the inside of the box kicks it in and scores it was a good play it was a good play i'm not gonna lie but i that got me so stressed because in that then literally that was the last play of the game and they went to extra time and nobody scored and then they went to penalties and you can see my reaction on my youtube channel or my instagram but that game had me so stressed it was funny because i was watching it um at um, pablo and karen's house because I had got over and I was washing dishes and like Karen was trying to talk to me, but I was like too focused and I'm like, yeah, um, um, um. <laughs> On the game? <laughs> Let's go. And she's, like, I know she was wanting some human interaction other than um, the and dog or like a this. baby. And I'm like, 
Yeah, but oh man. Shout out to Morocco though. They've I think in their books they've already won because this is the first time any African team has ever qualified for semifinals. I can't believe they took Portugal out. Yeah, Portugal's out. Like I I was like I was I think I had gone somewhere that morning. Oh, it's when I went to get groceries. And like I put the game on so I could listen to it on the way home and I heard that um they were losing and then like oh wow, they probably and then I when I I parked down um and was waiting until the game was over because I knew he wasn't going to come out and help me bring groceries <laughs> until the game was over. So I was just sitting there watching the she game. She knows me too well. And I saw that they finally put Ronaldo in because they he hadn't been in. And I was like, dang, do they wish they put him in sooner? They I don't know because Messi, I think, has played all all the games that he's played. He's played, played like the full 90 minutes mm-hmm. plus whatever overtime they do. But Ronaldo has been benched the past two games, <laughs> and they lost. And, like, against Morocco, they didn't even lose to them against penalties. It was, like, a straight-up yeah. 1-0 win. And I saw a bunch of uh, compilations of Ronaldo walking down the tunnel just, like, crying. And I'm like, uh, dang. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, it didn't hit me until the next day that that was Ronaldo's last World Cup. Yeah. And they did him dirty. They did. But then again, I heard he's not the, like, nicest, so, like. Yeah, I mean, every player's got their own personality, but he might. He's known or known in the media as being really arrogant, but I think he just stands up for himself because, like, he yeah. knows what he's worth. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, he is good, but at the end of the day, he is 37. So. That's not even that old. But for, for, like, players, because they're playing against, like, 20 year olds. Right. But... So, like, the I think the coach's strategy was to keep him on the bench until they really needed him. Because he, he probably, I mean, Ronaldo's super healthy, but he probably couldn't go at the percentage that the coach wanted throughout the 90 minutes. But what about Messi? He's older, isn't he? Yeah, no, Messi's younger. Hmm. But it's the different play style that they have. If you notice, Ronaldo's always running around, and Messi, 80% of the game, he's just walking. He only, like, he does, like, bursts of, like, energy hmm. whenever he needs to make a play. So like he's super. So what you're saying is Ronaldo is better than Messi. No, no, no. I'm saying Messi is better because he's super strategic. You saw the pass he had with that assist. Mm-hmm. That was freaking crazy. Mm-hmm. So personally, I think Messi's better. I have nothing against Ronaldo, but I've always been a Messi guy. I hope Argentina wins a World Cup today. When this goes out, um, when what time does it, the World Cup is at ten? Oh wow, that's an early game. So when this comes out, the game would have already been over. Mm-hmm. So either fuck Argentina lost or Argentina didn't make it or let's go Argentina <laughs> won. <laughs> I guess um, we'll have to wait to caption it. <laughs> mm. I have to make it like a story on the podcast. But I was really hoping for a Messi Ronaldo final, but it didn't, it didn't end up happening unfortunately. Yeah, people were saying it was going to be rigged. To where it was going to be Portugal versus uh, Argentina, just so that it could be Messi versus Ronaldo because Ronaldo mm-hmm. of the picture they took before. Because the ch- they were playing chess on the case of the World Cup trophy, so it was like this big, you know, conspiracy that like, oh yeah, like it's all rigged and blah blah blah. But it's like, how can you rig like the biggest thing in the world right now? <laughs> like, I know there's ways, but like, come on. There's a lot of controversy going behind the World Cup because after Argentina's game against Netherlands, Messi, or not Messi, the whole Argentinian team was having beef with Netherlands because Netherlands was beefing with them. And to my knowledge, Netherlands' coach, I forget his name, but he was he said, he's like, if we go to penalties, we got this. It's a 100% win. And Argentina won, won from penalties. And after the penalties, I'm pretty sure Messi went up to the Netherlands coach and like did this thing, like you're all talk. Yeah, and there's there's so much like hate, not hate, but like beef history. Mm-hmm. And throughout throughout that game, it was intense because they were all fighting. Remember yeah, when they when kicked they, the ball <laughs> t- to the? I mean, I it was funny, but it's like nobody was actually seated. So who got hurt? Like, okay, but like the tension of the game, and they did that. That's just like a sign of like disrespect. So they right. all got up and they're like, "Fuck this dude." Yeah, that was intense. Yeah, was <laughs> I I saw. Um, a meme that said that game i don't know if you can relate but that game was the closest thing that we 
have had of related to El Clásico of Real Madrid and Barcelona back in like 2010. Because if you remember those games, they were like, every time Barcelona and Real Madrid played, Messi was on Barcelona, Ronaldo was on Real Madrid. That game was like super intense. Super like there's like a lot of beef, always fights. It was just super intense. And that's how the, the Netherlands versus Argentina game felt. So that's why I think I really liked it. Um, who is that player that's known for biting? Figures. Suarez. I think. Mm. He's uh Uruguay. Uruguay. He's already out. Oh, yeah, we were just Kata and I were talking about it. She's like, what team does he play for? I'm like, I don't know, but we were just talking about that, like, you and I, because you mentioned that, and I just can't remember who it was. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I really hope our messy one. <laughs> I'm going to look know. so stupid if they lost, but, or I'm going to look so stupid if they didn't even make it to the finals, if they lost against Croatia. Because this is, they're in the quarterfinals, not the semifinals? No, they're in the semifinals now. Next week, or in our time right now that we're recording this, Tuesday. And uh, I think it's Tuesday, Thursday are the semifinals. So Argentina plays Tuesday against Croatia. And then after that, sometime throughout the week, um, France and Morocco play. And then before the final on Saturday, the two teams that lost play for third place. Mm -hmm. Then on Sunday, which is today, as this video goes out, is the final. Yeah. So if Argentina lost against Croatia... Well, first, who do you want to win the World Cup? My team's out. Mexico? Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm just going for Argentina, too. Just for Messi. Let's go. <laughs> but if Argentina loses, who are you going to go for? You've got Croatia, France, and Morocco. Morocco. Morocco? Why? Because mm -hmm. if they have, this is the furthest they've ever been, and then they finally win. Like, that'd be really Imagine cool. how emotional that'd be. That'd yeah. be fucking crazy. Uh-huh. Not gonna lie, I say the same, but I don't know if they're gonna get past France. Yeah, because they're the reigning champs from yeah. the last World Cup. And there's a really high chance that France is gonna win it again. So, like, twice in a row. Like, I'm low key scared if it's an Argentina France final, that Argentina can't beat France. Like, I want Argentina to win, but I don't think they can beat France. I don't know. I'm just ready for the games to start. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what I've been like the past couple of days. I'm like, there's not a game. What do you say? What time doing? do they play? Um, I think it's either ten in the morning or two p.m. Hopefully two. Hey, what well, I, I can work? actually look it up here now that you know we've got a desk and I can access my laptop. <laughs> World Cup schedule. It's already on my presetted lookup thing. Okay. All right. Oh, two o'clock. Argentina plays Yay. Croatia Tuesday, 2 o'clock, and then France plays Morocco Wednesday, 2 o'clock as well. I won't be. I have... You won't be able to see the France one because it's at 2 on Wednesday. You'll be at work. Dang. And, and, with, my, and with my new patient. Otherwise, yeah. I could have had it on the TV. But you'll be able to see uh, the third place. This is on Saturday at 10. I feel bad because Pablo won't be able to watch the final. Wow. He's going to be at work. I'm like, damn. It's like, bro, just call off. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> bro, come over and just watch the final. <laughs> if you're watching this. Oh, wait, it's already the day of the final. Okay, but we put up a... I put up a small poll on my Instagram to see what your guys' predictions were for the final or who you wanted to win. And I have two pe or three people that predicted. So... Uh, the first one, we're going to go with Gabby's mom. She predicted Argentina. Let's go. We're all on the same team here. Um, my boy Andy says Argentina versus France, but he's going for Argentina 2, France 1. Ooh, that'd be an intense game. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then my boy Jacob, shout out Jacob. He's been on the podcast as well. Go check out the, uh, his episode back in probably like I think episode 50 something. But he says France wins again. And I'm not going to lie, that's a very high possibility. Sorry, I'm, I love popcorn, so I'm just munching away. Yeah, don't munch too close to the mic because that's all they're going to be hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking over here, you just like... <laughs> but yeah, honestly, Jacob, I think there's a really high chance France is going to win. I know you and I both want Argentina to win, but we got to we gotta keep the the hope up because Messi needs to win. It's his last World Cup. 
I had some hope for Ronaldo, but I want Messi to win so bad. Okay. Moving on from the World Cup. Shout out to whoever won. Wan. Wan. Did I just say Wan? Shout out to whoever won the World Cup. I know I'm probably, or I probably blew my brains out from that game. Probably crying. Probably crying. Not going to lie, I'll probably will cry. (laughs) And I'm going to record myself that day. So stay tuned for, go check out my YouTube channel for my reaction of the World Cup final. Because I'm going to upload a long form video on it. A long form video? Yeah, not a short. Because I did a short reaction to... Wouldn't it just be a video? Yeah, I guess people don't really care about the specifics, (laughs) right? (laughs) But another thing I wanted to talk about on today's episode, um, Gabby and I had an event yesterday that we went to. Last um, weekend at this point. Last weekend, last Saturday. It was her her work's Christmas party. Yeah, that was my first time ever going. So our first time ever going because last year they didn't do it because of covid so this is like the first year in like three years that they brought it back so it's put on by like all the physicians at the heart hospital so like they pay for like the the food the drinks or well, it was an open bar this time like it was previously which unfortunately yeah i mean we didn't end up getting extra drinks but um we just kind of sipped away at our water um but it was fun ish I mean, the, the was, way, I just didn't know what to expect. Like, I was. It like, was our first time at any any event like that. Yeah, because like, I thought like it was gonna be like, oh, they're gonna sh- talk about the department and thank every department, and I guess like there was a slideshow previously, and <laughs> like the videos they were playing. Like, first of all, the sound was just terrible. Whoever was in charge of that sound, I'm sorry, man or gal. It was terrible. And, like, the editing, he was the cringing was so cringing. hard. <laughs> it was terrible. Because, like, they, like, Photoshop, like, they the like, faces. They face track um, a picture of the physician's faces onto a video of elves dancing. Mm-hmm. So, like, their faces was just a still picture. But, like, their mouths were opening up and down as, like, the elves were talking or singing. And I looked over at Gabby. I'm like, damn, this is kind of cringe. I wonder how much they paid this editor. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> looking for editor. <laughs> you yeah, look- <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all I can do is a little better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, like, they had it from all the hospitals. So, like, I didn't know half the doctors. And then, like, um, the doctors put on this dance. And I was that like. That was actually kind of lit. I was <laughs> like, whoa, I was not expecting this. Like, it's weird to see, like, the physicians in that era, like. I see them in the hallways, like just so serious, or kicking me out of rooms when they're when they go in there because they're in there. You're you're out. They, you don't matter. But so it's like, oh, you are actually kind of like fun and not like so serious all the time. And it was fun. I'm like, oh, what doctor is that? Oh, that's doctor so and so. Oh, that's doctor so and so. Oh, that's what they look like. The, the whole time you and your coworkers are doing that, I'm like, I'm trying to like look and look. <laughs> <laughs> Because I only knew one of the doctors that put on, like, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, one of the main ones that came to our table. And oh, yeah. He was really nice. We, he greeted us when we walked into the door, too. Mm-hmm, I remember. Yeah. So, that was kind of fun. Like, there was dancing at the end, and we all kind of were like, yeah, let's dip. Like, As soon as one of the your coworkers that were sitting next to us in the same table left we're like all right that's our chance let's go Mm -hmm. (laughs) i think i i don't think anybody there wanted to be the first people to leave so like her leaving was like okay this is our chance let's go right but leading up to that we actually met up with her co-workers at bj's uh it's a restaurant um i don't know if you guys have (laughs) ever been there but they it's like a it's a kind of like a a cheddars kind of like a cheddars kind of like it's just like a restaurant they yeah, have food, just a bar, you know. We we met up there at, uh, it was like 4.30 when we got there. And the event started at, no, 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 it was 5 when we got there. And the event started at 6. And we met up for some drinks there to kind of like pregame. <laughs> um, Gabby and I hadn't had anything to eat before. So when we showed up, they were already at the bar waiting for us. And I'm like, okay, like I'll try something. I've never had a Ultimate Long Island is what I ordered. And as soon as I drank it, I'm like, dang, this stuff is strong. That was really strong. It was not even sweet, like nothing. Like it was just pure alcohol. 
as soon as I drank it, I'm like, I'm on an empty stomach right now. This thing is about to mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> and he was driving. <laughs> we were safe. We were safe. We drove well. I drove well. Um, But we got seated to a table and I felt bad because the server. It was, it was an eight top and like. We're not getting drinks. We were like, oh, like, we're almost running out of time. By the time we got our table, it was time to, like, go. We're not dickheads. We had previously planned to get at least an appetizer when we went, but we ended up being a little late, and by the time we would have ordered the appetizer, it would be time for us to go to the party. Yeah. So, like, we're like, uh, we're not going to really order anything. What do we do? Like, eventually, like, my friend's fiancé was like, so we just our timeline kind of changed. So like was, we're gonna really good we'll just take like one more round of drinks and we'll go. And then the guy was kind of like, like he was like, mm. yeah. And his smile disappeared because of course that would have been a really good big tip and or yeah you know he missed out on that whole thing. And we're like sorry because we tipped the bar because that's where we got our drinks. And that's what we tipped. And I'm like, oh. The food there is really good, though. Gabby and I have been there, what, twice, three times? Give her yeah, a couple there. times. And the food there slaps. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. It's really good. The salmon is really good. Yeah. But, like, we were sitting there talking to everybody. Like, I was trying to get to know everybody. I'm so bad with names. And if you're watching this, um, Tyler, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> when I walked in. I said, nice to meet you, but we had already met. <laughs> we bought the TV stand off of you guys. I'm so sorry. I was out of the loop. But halfway into us sitting, when we first got seated, um, I was like halfway through my drink, and I was so buzzed. <laughs> I, was looking, I could tell because you were so quiet. Yeah. I was looking up at the TV trying to focus and like trying to listen to one at a person of like your coworkers talking, and that sentence made no sense, but- I was literally so buzzed sitting there. I'm like <laughs> trying to move my head nice and slow before I moved it too fast and got too dizzy. Because keep in fact, I only had cereal in the morning. And then I had a long, ultimate Long Island. Not just a regular Long Island. I don't know if there's a difference. But it was this big. Around that big and like the glass was like this thick. And it was strong as heck. I mean, I got my money's worth, I guess. But it was okay. Kind of nice. But I was super buzzed. My drink was really good. What'd you have? The strawberry mojito. Yeah, I was really debating on getting a margarita, like a frozen one. I think I should have. Dang it. You should have. Yeah, I would go back and just get a mojito. I like mojitos. They're just so good. Yeah, and then, so after that, we ended up driving to the party, and we got our appetizers, which is really different. Yeah. They had, uh, like, Indian food as appetizers. Do you remember what they were called? (coughs) No. I met up with Pablo today at the dog park uh, just to hang out and talk with him and like play around with Otis. And I told him about it and he had blurted out a name of what he thought the appetizer was. <coughs> and he guessed it right the first time because I remember seeing the the like piece of paper they had on of what the name was of the appetizer. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, that, that sounds familiar, but I can't remember it right now. But it was really good. It was like a fried potato. Like one was like a veggie one and then there was like a... I think I don't know if it was supposed to have if it had meat in it. No, it I didn't think it taste had like, like potatoes. It. Yeah. <clears throat> and they they, Sorry, they had this off. really good drinks. Do you have water? <laughs> they had this really good um, green and like a reddish sauce. The reddish sauce was nice and sweet. It tasted mm-hmm. so good. And the green one was just so rich in flavor. And all my coworkers were like this is so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> one of your coworkers. <laughs> she's funny she was like this is so spicy like my lips are completely numb <laughs> i look over her i'm like huh <laughs> i'm like huh I'm like, was it really that spicy because like, i tried it and, it didn't and even... i don't like spice like i cannot handle <laughs> spice and i'm like i'm like what do you mean it just had really good flavor it was like just so rich it didn't even like <clears throat> like it was just flavorful it wasn't like spicy no it's like this is gonna be really offensive, but maybe you just don't know what flavor is, <laughs> or they're just not used to eating spicy food. Yeah. But then, after the appetizers, we had uh the thing you were talking about the entertainment <laughs> where the uh, physicians, the physicians, right? Mm-hmm. Where the physicians were dancing and everything. And side note, I felt totally <laughs> out of place there. I'm like, I'm a 
fast food worker slash YouTuber slash. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm like at the very bottom of the tiers in the hospital. So like. But like you still like you were invited there. Like you still belong there. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like I'm your spouse, but like I, I was sitting there, like literally in my mind, I'm like. I'm a fast food worker, YouTuber, and student. <laughs> I'm like, I feel so out of place here. And there's people there younger than me already in the positions that like you're in. I'm like, dang, I feel like behind. I mean, they just graduated early. Oh, early? Yeah, they they graduated. Both him and his wife graduated like a year early or semester oh, nice. early. So like, think so they're smart. <clears throat> Not me. I'm the complete opposite, guys. I'm kind of stupid. But, yeah, I felt I was sitting there, and I tried my best to be as elegant as possible <laughs> until I looked down at our silverware, and everything was lined up like how it was supposed to be professionally, and I'm like, I have no idea what any of these mean. <laughs> I look, he almost asked you, too, because uh, there's a camp that our school is requir- required, we're, sorry, there's a camp that we're required to go uh, within our school and they teach us proper like eating etiquette for like business meeting and stuff mm-hmm. and when i took the camp it was during covid so it wasn't actually at the facility the facility and like the actual camp location it was on campus <laughs> and we never got that portion of the actual class we just got like leadership stuff like games and roles that we had to play but we never got that proper etiquette eating etiquette part so when I sat there, I'm like, wow, I literally don't know where I'm supposed to put my silverware or, like, anything. Yeah, I don't miss – that was, like, the worst thing because, like, after each meal, you had to play – you had to set the table, like, your your group or team had did because you'd sit with, like, your team or, like, whatever class you, or class you were in, uh-huh. and you had to set it each time, and I'm like – and then I always, the only thing I really remember, I don't remember where things go, but you're supposed to, whenever you're done with your food, you put your, um, I even do it at restaurants. Like you're supposed to put like your um, utensils at three o'clock. I, I know that. Mm-hmm. Well, I only know that because I saw you do it and I asked you once. Mm-hmm. So I know that. But like everything else, because I looked at it, there was a fork on the top, fork on the left, well, a smaller fork on the top. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to assume the smaller fork is for appetizers, so I use the smaller fork for that and the bigger fork for the actual dinner. So, I don't know. I might have looked like an idiot, but the actual dinner itself, oh, my god, It was so good. They had so many options. I was like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I'm like, (laughs) because I didn't know if we could get seconds or not. Yeah. And it turns out that we could, but. Nobody did in my group. So, like, we didn't want to be those people who are like, food. Oh man, and I should have done it. Oh my god! So like they had like a salad, veggies, of course, to start heart vascular. Um, they had um, potatoes, green beans, carrots, um, salmon, roast beef. Um, I saw the salmon, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, like oh, it's this kind of dinner. <laughs> and then they also had like the option of. Indian cuisine. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't try that one just because, like, my f- plate was literally almost full, and I wanted mashed potatoes. Because as soon as we got to the Indian cuisine, it was, like, it was our, at the very end. Yeah, our like plates all, were already full. I was like, dang! Like, I, I got, I got like the the bread stuff that they had. I'm so th- sorry. I think it's called a frittata. Is what I remember seeing. Okay, don't roast me, but it was really good. I think you're supposed to like put your food on it like kind of like a tortilla. I, yeah. But I was just kind of eating it like that cuz I liked it just by itself. And that's how you are with tortillas too. I feel like you never like dip, you always just eat it on the side. Yeah. Well, that's how my dad does it. Sometimes I I dip it with the food. Mm-hmm. But oh my gosh, the food is so good. I had salmon, I had the they had short rib, I think is what it was. Mm. And it was so tender. Like just with my fork I went like that and it just came off. I'm like this is going to be a good dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got like a piece and a half of salmon. Cause I went to grab one and it kind of broke, and I, so I like stuck my like the the tongs like under it and just like placed it, and I was like, I got that one and then the other half. Of Even the salad was really good, like the yes, dressing that, that they was had. So good, I was like, can I just go back for that salad? Mm-hmm. Like it had pecans, as Tyler pecans. would say. Uh, um, he said pecans. He's <laughs> pecans. He's from the south. Huh. Um, 
like spinach, romaine maybe a little bit. Mm. Um, I had, what are they called? The pomegranate seeds, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just really good in the dressing. I don't know what it was, but it was... I literally like thought to myself, I'm like, I kind of just want to drink this dressing. It was so. <laughs> like, it was like a, a sweet, creamy dressing. I wanted to like get some and just pour it on top of my salmon. Ooh, <laughs> that would have been pretty good. That would have been really good. But the salmon was like a, a glazed, like spice to it. Mm-hmm. That was really good too. The only thing I wish it had is the skin, because I really like salmon with the skin. Oh yeah. But it was still really good without the skin and a little easier to eat obviously Mm -hmm. but shout out to the physicians who hosted that christmas party we'll be there next year (laughs) and then like the dessert oh yeah um they had the option of a chocolate cake um turtle cheesecake and a lemon cake maybe i think i thought it was just a turtle cheesecake and a chocolate cake i thought i saw three it might have just been two there was three. I'm a little upset because I kind of wanted to try out everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a third one, babe. Dang. But she had the turtle cheesecake and I got the chocolate one. I love turtle cheesecake. And then that one just really, the turtle cheesecake literally just tasted like, a, what is it called? Like a Snickers. Yeah. With like a hint of cheesecake to it. Mm-hmm. And I love cheesecake. So it was like the perfect combination. I'm like, I couldn't like eat all of it. like i was eating all of it because i wanted to but everybody around me was like this is too much i can't and i'm like i did not care i ate everything yeah. <laughs> like literally my plate that i had with all my dinner like the salmon and everything i almost like licked my, the, everything <laughs> off of my plate <laughs> there was nothing left <laughs> yeah and then you ate the the, the top part of my um cheesecake because i was like here you go. Like, uh, I won't be like this person. Every time I'm, like, around my coworkers, I always feel like a fatty because I always bring, like, my big regular size Tupperwares, and they use the mini ones, and so I started using the mini ones. But then I take multiple of them because I have multiple things, and I'm like, this is just the same as not <laughs> bringing a regular size. That kind of is my fault because I eat a crap ton of food. So, like, you're seeing meat a lot, and you're like, oh, you know what? I want a little bit extra, too. But I've been doing better about it. I'm not... I've been better about my portion sizes. Yeah, but when we first moved in, we ate a ton. I mean, I still ate I a didn't. Ton. I think it was I gradually built up to it cuz I was like, I can do it too cuz I saw it and I was like, like I used to never finish my Chipotle bowl. And then I started finishing my Chipotle bowl and then some. Like I would want stuff. And I was like, this isn't good. Like I'm a smaller person. I shouldn't be eating this much. So Yeah, I didn't I think to, like, about it. I didn't think about it then. You were like kind of eating the same amount as me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, maybe we should cut down a little. And then I thought to myself, like, maybe I should cut down a little because you see me eat so much food. You want to eat it too. Mm-hmm. So like maybe I should cut down a little. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like that food jealousy where it's like you you can eat it. I can eat it. But it's like we're two different size people. I'm literally twice your size. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. But that work event was so fun. Yeah. I mean, I'll go back for the food. Yeah. Hopefully, next your coworkers are really fun too. It's nice yeah. meeting them. If they're watching this, or give them a timestamp of thirty minutes. <laughs> I'll be like, like shout go, out. go watch the podcast. We shouted you out, but you guys were really fun. Um, it was nice meeting you all. I'm so bad with names. He probably doesn't remember. He's like, no, I do, but I'm not gonna name them all. If I, they don't no, want yeah, name but um, what was the name that you're like, Joshua and blah blah blah? I'm like, who's Joshua? <laughs> Like, it was a, just a random name, and I'm like, no. <laughs> okay, to my defense, when I first met them and they told me their names, I was buzz as shit. <laughs> Fair. So I was trying to memorize that while I was, because when we the table that we were sitting at, I was mesmer- mesmerizing, memorizing the names by the order they were sitting in. It's <laughs> so like the whole night I had that order in my head, <laughs> like that picture of how they were sitting in my I head. I should have told them, musical chairs, and moved around. Oh, God, that would have messed <laughs> my whole thing up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you called one of my coworkers a different name, like, they would hate you if they knew that. <laughs> yeah, 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 if I called them a, a certain name. Yeah. Yeah, but that was a fun event. It was our first time ever doing anything like that. Yeah, it was different, like... I, I, like, couldn't find anything to wear, and I wore something for, like, I bought a whole new outfit to wear for, like, three hours. <laughs> and you said business casual. There were people there, like, dressed up as if it was, like, a wedding. I'm like, holy shit. I mean, some yeah. people there might have a crap ton of money, and that's that's their, like, business casual wear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I thought we dressed well. Like that's We did. 
Let's pop up a Christmas card. <laughs> oh, yeah. We took a picture. I'll pop it up right here. <laughs> 35 minute mark. Gotta remember that. <laughs> but do you want to add anything else onto um, last night's Christmas party? Yeah, it was good. It's a good recap. I, I'm thinking about the food, though. I want some more. Yeah, it's kind of making me hungry. We have some orange chicken right now marinating in the in the fridge, mm-hmm. and I'm so excited to eat it after this. Yes. Well, we've got to meet up with somebody to sell our lamp. Hopefully. Hopefully, they already sent me the money. Hopefully. But Gabby had posted something on her Instagram for questions, and we got a would you rather. Shout out, Caesar. Um, I didn't even know if he watches him. I know. I didn't know either. It's Every time somebody like tells me that they watch the podcast, I'm like, wait. I kind of like low key forget I have a podcast. You're like you do what? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, oh shit, I said this there. <laughs> I forget that like we we do this, we do this, and that family members can just click a video and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to all the family members watching and friends, um, and everybody else. But the would you rather Caesar gave us is would you rather know how you die or know when you die? Neither. <laughs> You've got to choose. No. Um, I would say probably no win. So, like, I could try and get, like, all my bucket list things checked off. Because, um, like, if I knew, I would want to avoid everything and that aspect of it, even though I know it would be an end of If you end. knew how? hmm Like, oh, you're going to get in a car crash. I would never drive. <laughs> like... See, but then what happens there? Like, if you never drive, or you never get in a car, I mean, it'd be unavo- unavoidable for me not to get in a car. How am I gonna get places? You get like an electric bike. <laughs> it's so in wreck. Yeah, that's true. I think I would do the same. I think I would choose no when I die, because, like you said, I just live my life to the fullest, check off all my bucket lists. Like, I mean, I wouldn't leave you with a bunch of debt or anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> but i definitely would be like let's do all this as much as we can in a casual setting what the heck what chrome just opened up on my laptop is it still recording it's still recording but i don't know why chrome opened i didn't touch it does your laptop have like a siri thing because mine whenever there's like a button that i could like activate siri and maybe that happened or something i don't think so i've never oh. Okay, but going back to this, what if, like, we both said we both want to know when we die? Mm-hmm. What if we find out and I die, like, 10 years before you do? Then what do you do? I don't know. I mean, I guess you have that knowing that I don't, I'd have that less time with you. It'd be. Then like, you'd buy me my gaming chair? No. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I would sell it afterwards if I did. But, <laughs> um,. I don't know, like, it, I think that'd be a harder pill to swallow knowing that it's going to come when it comes, Mm -hmm. so I don't know, I think I just, I try to live life to the fullest with you, but I think a part of me would always be, like, upset, because I'm like, oh, this could be, this is going to be our last Because you know you're going to have 10 years less past my death. And then on that last, like, ninth year, I'd be, like, on edge, like, just yeah, that, I feel like that would that would drive me nuts if I was in that situation. Mm-hmm. I'd just be like, "Damn, like, what am I supposed to do after this?" Because mm-hmm. then it's like, given like we're older, and it, that's when it is, and not like, younger. Like, I don't know. I guess it really depends if it's like when we're younger, then versus when like we're like in older. our seventies or in like our forties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could be like, because like, not that I'm thinking like do. Would one remarry? Would I mean, people get married in their eighties, which is crazy? Would you remarry? I don't know. It's not something I've thought about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would. I don't know how I would be after. Yeah, I want to say like I feel like everybody says they can never remarry, but I think some people eventually do. Yeah, because I, I mean, at the end of the day, I think some like. Some couples have the conversation, have this conversation, like, more seriously, obviously. Mm-hmm. But they're like, if I die, like, I want you to be happy. Like, if you find somebody that you are no, I'm interested toxic. in. Don't find anybody else. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby's going to be like, I'm going to be behind your neck as a ghost at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Some girl comes, I'm just a tripper. <laughs> <laughs> you just haunt her for the rest of her life. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like no. some couples do have that conversation of like some they know or like just to have it like set. They're like, if I die before you, like years before you do, and you still mm-hmm. have a long life to live, like mm-hmm. live your life. If you find somebody you're interested in, like live it. That's what I want for you. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I would do that like for you. Like if I died like 10 years before you do, like I'd want you to be happy. I mean, you know, man, they, whoa, whoa, they, whoa, whoa. they tend not to live longer for so- certain reasons, but like all this preventative care, like how you're constantly sick, like if you can like doing the things that you need to do to avoid like being sick, catching a big illness, like do oh. it. Or like, oh, I want to go skydiving. No, you're not. Um. <laughs> At some point in my life, I'm going to go skydiving. I better be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know. That just scares me. Like, people jumping out of planes. Like, I, I know some of my family members have done it, and they're fine. What? Really? Who? Corey. <gasps> That's cool. And I'm pretty sure, like, her, like, seven-year-old grandpa did it, too, but. While he was 70? Around that. I think don't now that's risky (laughs) yeah um but yeah i was just like i don't know that scares me i'm excited i wanted to skydive that scares me or bungee jumping i've seen a lot of horror clips clips in bungee jumping though that's like the same fear because it's like i feel like bungee jumping is worse because you get slingshotted back up yeah I don't know. But would you ever skydive? No. No. That's I don't like heights. I'm going to look up. The older that I get, the more I become, um, like, I realize that I'm afraid of heights. Because, like, I can't stand on ledges. Like, if Mm -hmm. I'm on, like, our balcony, if I stand on the edge, like, I literally tippy-toe until I feel steady. And sometimes I can't, I like, I just can't. Especially at, like, hotels or something, like, when you get to the edge, like, my stomach flips upside down, like, if I get near a ledge, and I'm, like, I, especially when I'm higher up, so, I don't know. But I, I used to love roller coasters, so, I mean, last time we rode roller coasters, I, I feel like I wasn't, like, You were fine. I don't feel scared. like you were freaking out. No. I, I The last time it was when we went to Six Flags. The only time Kings you Island. were- King, Kings Island. The only time you were freaking out is when we went up on that tall building. And we were trying to look out, and you're like, I, I don't was want against to... like the wall. She like, didn't want the to elevator. go up to the railing. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Even though there was like a ton of other railing for nothing to happen. No, I just got it. I love heights. It low key kind of gives me an adrenaline adrenaline rush, and I love it. I'm just looking at like, mm. yeah. Could not be me, bro. <sighs> Man, well, you got anything else you want to talk about, babe? Are you ready for your co-host to be back? Oh, yeah. Speaking about that. Supposedly. Supposedly. No, but we've already got a date. We've already got a Will a it time. be next episode? We don't know. Will it be? It will be next episode. But will it, though? Why are you saying it like that? I don't know. Why Keep him on the edge. Like, will it be next episode? Oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> And then we just end it there. <laughs> but... My boy Pablo, the co-host, the other co-host. Yeah, the other co-host. Oh, shit. No, the... Yeah, because I'm one of them and he's the other one. No, he meant it as in me. (laughs) Whatever helps you sleep at night. But he's coming back next episode. He's coming back next episode. And some things that you can look forward to in that episode, we're going to talk about his experience in being a new dad. His experience on being a new dad. <laughs> his and time off work. And his time say? off the podcast. And his time off of the podcast. Yeah, I, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of interesting topics to talk about. But in order to hear those topics, you're going to have to stick around to the next episode. So we'll see you guys next Sunday when Pablo's back. Hopefully, let's cross our fingers. You're going to have to stay tuned. But Maybe two weeks from now. Um, maybe one week from now. Um, I know Christmas is coming up too, so... Don't be those last minute shoppers like we Don't are going to be. We have not done any Christmas shopping. We've shopped for two people. Three. Three. And Christmas is two weeks away. 
we one missed. week away from this recording. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, I was like, I don't want to be those people that are last minute shoppers. That's like, we didn't, like, we budget out for Christmas shopping. But until I got sick. Yeah, until we got sick. Or he got sick. And then I'm like, well, as long as our lights are on, that's what I matters right now. Um, <laughs> and and this is how it lights. should be. <laughs> And then the lights just cut out. Where's my, where's my controller? <laughs> oh, that would have been such a good cue. I just uh, cut the lights. Uh, but no. So we're waiting until we get paid. We get paid the in week. a couple weeks. Or it'll be this week, but like this past weekend that we got paid and we budgeted out with there. And so. Yeah, yeah and we already know what everybody we, that we're Yeah, we just need to wants. physically just go get all the gifts. Like we have them all, except for. Um, mothers like i don't know what to get his mother i don't want to get my mother my mom is so hard to shop for she always asks for sandals or shoes yeah and i get her shoes every single year for her birthday christmas so i'm like i'm not getting her that this year and she uses them but like that's all she asks for every year yeah i mean your dad's always pretty simple to buy for i know we still well, got him like to the- be fair we got my dad and my mom a new tv that's true but i still like to get him a little bit of something like i don't feel like just like here you go. I don't well, it's know. not here you go. We bought him like a four hundred dollar TV. <laughs> I mean, Between all the siblings, it's oh, not yeah. a here you I know, go. I know, but I still like. I don't know. I guess my mother. I don't know what to buy her. So comment down suggestions what you buy your mom. I know people keep telling me go to TikTok, but it's like the things that are suggested she doesn't use. And like like what? Like they'll be like a blank. Like I want to get her a nice blanket, but I can't find one for. Her. Um, that you think she'll use? That I think she'll like. Because, mm-hmm. like, her, my style and her style are, like, completely opposite. So, like, what I like, she doesn't really like. So, it's like, I don't want to buy something I don't like because I feel some type of way, you know? Yeah. Um. So, it's like, do I just get her a gift card? But then she's like, oh, I don't go there anymore. I don't do that, that often. I'm like, mother, you're not helping. See, that's the thing with Christmas shopping for your side of the family. Mm-hmm. Everybody just wants gift cards, which I mean, I'm totally okay with. I we have a <laughs> list of what we want, and we send it to everybody for like a secret Santa. But, I put gift cards online. But what's funny about it? It's like we're just exchanging money. At the end of the day, that's what giving gifts is. Yeah, but like, uh, it's just weird because it's like you we're kind of literally just giving each other money. <laughs> yeah. So like, here's money, even though you just gave me more money. So like, we could have kept that money. And been like, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> but I just wish, because I, I did an effort of not just putting gift cards. I put gym clothes and stuff. I gym put shark other things. and Alpha Lee. I hope I get Alpha Lee. I don't have any Alpha Lee stuff. So if they haven't shot for you, here we go. Alpha Lee, please. I have a lot of gym shark. I'd love gym shark, but I want to try some Alpha Lee. But you had that one shirt that Pablo gave you. Oh yeah, it's fit. It's amazing. I don't even though. think you have it anymore because I think you can give it away to, to Goodwill because it didn't fit you. That's true. I don't know if it's up there. But, like, literally her whole family put gift cards. I'm like, this is, like, Secret Santa. You're supposed to be like, oh, I know. I, I miss this? those days where, like, it was just actual gifts and not gift. I mean, I asked for a gift card to my godparents, but that was it. But then, like, for, like, the exchange, I put, like, coffee stuff and because I'm trying to build my coffee bar. I just think we're at the age to where we don't really know each other that well because we're not around each other all at all times that we don't really know what to get each other. Mm-hmm. So that's why we do the list thing, and then whatever's on the list, you know what you're, what you're going to get. Possibly. Which I made that mistake. I should have put, like... You gave the same list twice. So like, the exact of- <laughs> same list, copy and paste. I didn't know what to put. But then I thought about it, like, yesterday. I'm like, I should have put, like... <laughs> the freaking podcast curtain podcast or like the cheap stuff for the podcast that i need or want yeah like i mean i gave some people suggestions oh let's go hopefully those suggestions but the fruition. suggestions were towards us <laughs> <For what? laughs> my oh, mom the table my mom asked what you wanted i said he wants to buy a new table if you want to pitch in some money so we can buy it so mom if you're watching he bur- he bought the table but he still needs money for the curtain and stuff <laughs> well you better let her know before she buys it or just, I'll send you a link of a gaming chair that I want. <laughs> no, you cannot buy him a gaming chair. Why? It's just imagine me sitting in my super comfortable gaming chair and Pablo is just on a wooden chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, not bad. I'm, I'm chill. It's actually pretty comfortable. I mean, ours are to comfy because the... we have the cushion. Yeah. But, I don't know. Christmas shopping is very tedious sometimes depending on the person. I just like giving people gifts. I don't just like giving people gift cards and like... 
I guess like I can go look for like the people that got me. They said this or a gift card, but it's like their style is so different from mine too. So it's like I can get you this and a gift receipt, but then might as well just get you a gift card so you can buy what you want, you know? But you're not shopping for yourself. (laughs) At the end of the day, I think maybe getting taking the risk of buying something that you think that they'll like but just provide a gift receipt if they don't like it they'll just return it that's true so like because i don't know because back in back in my back in my day when i was a kid it was so exciting to just see gifts under the tree and not knowing even though i asked for a bunch of stuff not really knowing if my parents got it for me or like seeing what my father knows or like my aunts and uncles got me i always loved like when i was younger when we did the gift exchange because like I'd always want, like, certain uncles. Or I don't know, not even certain uncles, just because everybody was really good gift givers, except, like, my grandparents. Because, you know, they just, my grandma's going to get you practical things. And now she's more like, what do you want? And, like, I I told her I wanted, like, this pot or something. And she's like, She literally sent her a picture of the pot. (laughs) I was like, this one? (laughs) She's like, this one? Gabby's like, yeah. She's like, okay, I bought it. (laughs) I'm like, damn, it's like that. (laughs) I was like, and I'm like, what do you want? She's like, nothing. I'm like, so. You know she's not going to tell you a specific thing. No, but it's like, do you need a lunch bag? But no, they always feed her. Do you need a water bottle? Ooh. Water bottle? Maybe for, so she can take to work? Mm, eh, I don't know. I was going to say something, but then my. I know my mom watches, so she would know. So, <laughs> do you think she watches up until here? Yes. We're like fifty-two minutes in. Yes, she watches all of it. Probably. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out if you're still watching, <laughs> giving us some watch time. Let's she go. She gives you watch time. She supports. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, I had a really good point to make. Oh, your family is really good at gift shopping. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the first year that. Um, I was in your guys's like gift exchange or white elephant. Mm-hmm. I saw the gifts that they were, you guys were doing, and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> "You <laughs> yeah. got that?" Yeah, because <laughs> when we were shopping, you're like, "Why are we getting this?" I'm like, "You you gotta be able to compete a little bit." Because <laughs> we got, <clears throat> like, I mean, I'm not saying that like I'm poor or my family's poor, but like I would say we're middle class lower middle class your family's maybe like a little higher middle class so they have maybe a little bit more more money than my family Mm -hmm. because like growing up i don't think i've ever received a gift card growing up but like all the stuff that i got was like walmart or like something like that i was most excited about like the games that i would get like gamestop games or like xbox games which i have no like bad feelings towards my parents about getting me that stuff because that's what they could afford and at the end of the day that's what made me happy and i was super pumped to get all that stuff yeah but when i had that first year with your family i was like what (laughs) i'm like you guys give each other this these kinds of gifts i'm like dang and it's just weird to see the different family dynamics like how like your father you know just gift you but you don't give your father you know gifts and like Mm -hmm. on our side it's both like I give my father, you know, something and they give me something. That's one thing I want to do because I never give, gave my father knows anything. I just always expected something from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess when you were younger, it makes sense not to so much. But now that we're older, like we definitely can. Yeah. So, yeah, we can add them to the list. We haven't done any shopping anyways. (laughs) Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, Yeah, but I love my family. I love the childhood that I grew up with with mm -hmm. Christmases. They were so fun. I miss being a child in Christmas and not have to actually buy the gifts. <laughs> but then yeah. I like being an adult because then, like, I love having our own home and our own space and, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Enough Christmas stuff because this is going to be next episode. Next episode that comes out is going to be on Christmas oh, after yeah. this one. So we talked a lot Christmas, a lot of Christmas this episode. Well, pre-Christmas stuff. Pre-Christmas up. stuff. Yeah. Christmas buying. Next episode we'll talk about Christmas, just Christmases it, with Pablo maybe. Allegedly. Allegedly. But if you guys like the video, go down, hit that subscribe button. Ding. You, you think they hit it? <coughs> Ding. Subscribe. Like. 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 Comment. Pablo's back. Comment. It. Pablo or Gabby, who's better co-host. Leave it down in the comments. But with that being said, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.